Hey everybody, Melissa here. So I was asked in a comment if it is possible to create a digital signature in Microsoft Word, and it is. So if you find yourself sending a lot of documents or signing them yourself, well, your life's about ready to get a whole lot easier. And even more exciting than that is you can capture your signature, your job title, your company, and anything else you want, save it, and then add it to any document with just a few clicks of your mouse. I cannot wait to show you how this works. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the signature for my Chief Financial Officer, Betty Watson, and this is what I'm going to use to create the digital signature in Microsoft Word. Now, if you notice, it is the full size of a page, and that's because I wrote it on a white piece of paper and then I scanned it into my OneDrive. Now, there are several different ways you can go about capturing this signature. You can do it like I did and scan it. You can write it on a piece of paper, take a picture of it with a smart device, and email it to yourself or upload it to your OneDrive. Or you can take a smart device like an iPhone or an iPad and use the pen or your finger and write it that way and then get it to your OneDrive or email. But no matter which process you use, make sure that you save the image of the signature as a ping. The first thing we want to do is crop this image down to where we just have the signature. And we're gonna do that right here in Word. So from our picture format, we're gonna go over to Crop and select Crop. And then we're gonna start at the top and bring it down. And I want it just right above the T as close as I can get. From the bottom, we're going to bring it up. And we want it as close to the Y as we can get without taking part of it. And we're going to do each side. And then when we have it the way we want it, we're going to press Enter. And now we have our signature. So this looks great, right? Well, we've got a little bit of an issue. If we were to go up to Design and change our page color, you can see it's not transparent. We see the signature, but there's this white box. So anything that we put this on that is not a completely white background, it's going to show this and hmm, that don't look really good. So we're gonna change that. And I'm gonna leave my background dark so you can see how this works. To make this background transparent and just show the signature, we're gonna go back to home and we're gonna select our image go back to picture format, and we're gonna go over to color. And then we're gonna go down to set transparent color. And then we're going to click on the white area. Now, if you notice, the white is the color of our page. And then we have outlined our signature. We're gonna go back to our design, and I'm gonna change the page color back to white. And now we have our signature. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it. And one thing we want to make sure that we do is on our wrap here, make sure that it is set to in front of text. And I'm going to pull it up just a little bit. And now we have our signature in place. Now we can adjust the size of the signature and make it larger, or we can make it smaller. But I'm going to put it back because I think this is a fairly decent size. We can also move it down or up just by dragging the signature box. And now we want to save it as a ping so that we can use it in other Word documents. Now we can right click and do save as picture. And that's what I'm going to do here. However, Word does not reproduce the clearest or best ping images. So if you want something that's clearer or sharper, I would recommend taking it into maybe Photoshop, Canva, or even PowerPoint to get a better image. But for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it in Word. Once we've saved it as a ping, we can use it in any other Word document wherever we need to. Let's just say I need to sign this one again. I can go to Insert, Picture, and then go to where I have it saved, select it, tell it Insert, and there's my signature. And I can do it as many times as I want. 
Now let's say you sign a lot of documents and you're using the image of your signature to insert it, but then you're having to type out your name, your title, your company, phone number, email address, or anything else. Now what we can do is save all of this information so that when you go to insert your signature, it puts all of this in here. Now how we're going to do that is select all of our information, including our signature box. We're gonna go over to insert, go over to quick parts, go down to save selection to quick part gallery. And I'm gonna name this Betty Watson signature. The way the rest of this defaults is fine. And I'm going to tell it okay. Now when I need to insert my signature, let's just say down here, I go to insert, I go over to quick parts, and here you will see Betty Watson signature, select it, and it inserts all of the information that we had to manually enter. And there you have it. How neat is that? Now any documents can be signed quickly and easily by you or anyone they are sent to with a few clicks of your mouse. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future tutorials. And be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. And don't forget, if you need written instructions with screenshots for this tutorial, hop on out to my website, melcompton.com, and you can find it there. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.